Good evening, everyone. I am Angela Gag, and you're watching Angie live in Dubai. I'm broadcasting from the Viewsol TV studios. Like the rest of the world, we've hit a global reset, and I'm featuring different guests and segments, which can help put a smile on your face, escape the day, and also assist with the things that can make your life better, easier, less complex, and just all around awesome. Having a media platform gives me a personal responsibility to use my voice and give back to society. I use my voice to send messages to our viewers, and I give back to society by inviting local businesses, entrepreneurs, influencers, artists in every area, real estate experts, producers, celebrities, and activists onto the show. And I've always got something spicy lined up for you guys. If you have been tuning into my show, then you would know by now that we absolutely love our viewers, and I'm doing crazy giveaways. But there are a Simple few giveaway rules. Go follow Angie Live in Dubai on Instagram. Then log into my website at angelageg.com. Head on over to the Viewsol page and enter, enter, enter. It's a very basic form at the top of the page with tons of giveaways. You can scroll through them and enter the ones that you like. And guys at home, for those of you watching, you know that I host this show four days a week, but I also work in real estate. I'm licensed by Cornell University in commercial real estate, and I'm RERA certified right here in Dubai. As soon as someone finds out that I work in real estate in the UAE, they immediately ask, "How's the market doing? Is it up? Is it down? When's it going to change direction? Is it the right time to invest?" People are often fascinated by the property market in the UAE, particularly Dubai. One reason the real estate market here keeps people on their toes is because it fluctuates so much. Many of us know someone who made a killing by either investing in 2006 and selling in 2008, or investing in 2011 and selling in 2014. They probably even mention it at every party they attend. It's their obvious claim to fame. Fortunes have been won in just a matter of a few years, right here by investing in real estate. So, on this episode of Serious Business on Angie Live in Dubai, we're going to be discussing just that. We're going to be discussing real estate and financial freedom, market analysis. What's the expectation for the upcoming time? What's next, and what are the expectations for the market changes? We're going to talk about the broker community and advice for new brokers, advice for investors, current investors, and newcomers. Today, I'm joined in the studios with Amin. He is the sales director at Fidu Properties, one of the largest Chinese companies in the GCC. He's a certified international property specialist, a member of the National Association of Real Lots USA, real estate educator specialized right here in Dubai for market and cash flow management. He says his areas of expertise include coaching, advisory, business operations. And expanding plans, and he's here to talk with me about the real estate, a market, and more. More with Amin when we get back from this short commercial break. We are back. Uh, thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Serious Business right here on Angie Live in Dubai. We're here at the Viewsol TV studios in Media City, and today I'm joined in the studios with Amin. He's the sales director at Fidu Properties. Yeah, thank you, Angie, for having me today. It's really <laughs> thanks, nice. Thanks. I, I feel the energy. I, All right, I, I, I love cloud. it. I love it. I love it. Thanks for joining me and the team <laughs> here you. at Viewsol. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good. So, as of course, you know, we're doing a real estate special. It's, yes. It's very important to get the word very out honest. there. Very Very pleasure to have me here with you, dear. Amazing, amazing. Let's see what we can add value for the people. Absolutely, <laughs> what we're here to do. Absolutely. Before we do that, though, obviously, since you're on the show, I'd yeah. like you to introduce yourself to the audience. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about you. What brought you to Dubai? Yeah. Because while you are here, it's important for my viewers to understand who's a mean. Yeah. <laughs> the anonymous. Let's talk Let's, about you first. <laughs> okay. So I'm a Jordanian. Okay. I came here in two, uh, 2010, mm -hmm. basically after the crisis. And uh, what I found in Dubai is the Dubai dream. Uh -huh. Like some people, they bought the American dream, right? But I love the Dubai dream, which is so many nationalities, brand new city, 
a new life experience for me. And when I thought about what business I will do, real estate was the best option for me. Or like, you know what? I will stick in the real estate. And it was one of the advice of my father or friend. Hey, whenever there's a problem, there's an opportunity. But you actually so, came in as an investment banker. I was you an investor. You didn't come in to do real estate. No, <laughs> there's, a, there's a story behind this story. Basically, I finished English language. Okay. And uh, I was a part where the most important thing I need to do with is how can I speak with you? Ah. How can I speak with the world? Okay. I want to get out of Jordan. Jordan was like small for me. I want a place where it go international. Mm -hmm. So part of my study, I start reading books okay. about uh, investment, self-development. And the most important place I should start working it, which is bank, where mm. people put their money in it. Ah, yeah, very good. And, uh, <laughs> from there, I learn what's going on. So the best second option I should, like, you know what, from banking to real estate. Mm -hmm. So I was selling real estate inside the bank. Okay. Because we convince you to put your money with us. Yes, yes. And we will go invest in the real estate. We, uh. we give you X amount and we make X amount. So why I don't get to the real world? Right. And start doing the investment of real estate. To start advising people about the market. And Dubai was the best option. Mm -hmm available as a newborn city. I heard it from uh, one of my best investors, the Indian guy, tell me, I mean, Dubai, for the next 25, 30 years, the best place where you can start your life. Right, right, yeah, so right. So I believe everyone came to Dubai with the attention of, I want a new experience, I want mm -hmm. a new life. Mm -hmm. And Dubai is like eyes catchy. Anybody come to Dubai and you're like, you know what, I need to live in the city. Right, 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 of course. It's a city that never sleeps as well. It's will never sleep. We love our Dubai. <laughs> I think we all, everybody who lives here, loves it here. That's the truth. <laughs> See, the multicultural is very nice. Like in, in a small piece of uh, property, you will find like more than 10, 15 people from different nationalities. Absolutely. And the, the culture exchange, like uh, I have a lot of things about, let's say, different nationality. When I deal with them, like, you know what, they're very nice people. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. uh, I learn from you, I learn from X, I learn from that. and. Dubai is not only about this border. Dubai is about China to U.S. Right. You, you will find multi-people in it. Well, you were saying you have about 78 agents at Fidu Properties. Yes. What's the nationality of, let's say, these agents? We have more than 60 nationalities at the moment. Wow. Like uh, I have from, uh, from UK, from Portugal, I have from Turkey, I have from Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, I mm -hmm. have a Chinese, mm -hmm. uh, I have Russian people, Arab, uh, Arab people from North Africa, South Africa, from India. After that, you start speaking with people. You're from Mumbai, he's from New Delhi, he's mm -hmm. from Kerala, this guy from London, this guy from X. So everyone come with a different mindset about the business. Mm -hmm. Everybody come with a different culture about uh, doing it. And it's not about uh, what to say as much as what we're getting from people. Right, it's right, it's absolutely. Very, it's very nice. Like right now, we're dealing with the Chinese people. Mm -hmm. like for me, it was it, it is an excellent experience because it's one third of the world. Right, right, and right. They came with a culture. Uh -huh. I, uh, I, I start learning from the guys. I've been there. I was surprised from the way they do business. Mm -hmm. I get motivated and I study a certified international property specialist to understand what's going on in the world. Right. What make London, London? Right. What make New York, New York? Right. So what will make Dubai as a, a new city? And by, by the way, this make me believe and Confidence, hundred percent. Dubai is the city. I would love to live and be become like my first home, mm -hmm. not my second home. How long have you been here for? Like almost ten years and ten three years. Months. Wow, mashallah. Yeah, yeah, my my children. I have two kids. They are born here. Oh, bless you. Like even my son. He, uh, I mean, I live in Dubai. When yeah. I, when every time I take them back home, like, uh, can we go back, daddy? Like, oh, they want to come back to Dubai. Dubai is home. <laughs> Dubai is home, Allah. The funny yeah. thing is. My right neighbor, he's Italian. My mm -hmm. left neighbor, he's Indian. And uh, his best friend is, uh, let's say, from Azerbaijan. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking about the best investment in the world, the way he started growing up. Okay, we're peaceful. We're very happy to, to enjoy our life. And right. we're, we're here to live it. It's true. Let's enjoy it. Yeah, I love the melting pot of cultures that we have. Yeah. It's the same. Whenever you're out here, you'd be with, let's say, an American or somebody from England or like you said, different Arabic culture, Egyptian or like, you know, yeah, Jordanian yeah, yeah, like yeah, yourself or like myself from the Caribbean. You just have a, my friends from Sweden, there's a big mix of Iran, like we have, we're all mixed and we all get along. 
We all love yeah. each other here, you know? See, it's, it's very nice. Like, There's no uh, hate in Dubai. No, no, no. See, it's, it's all about, like, how can I add value for you? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Dubai also is bigger than just in, inside it. Like, every time you meet a new people, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, deal. it is a transit city. I mean, people are in and out, but some of us yeah. are here. I mean, I also have been here a very long time, like yourself. But, you know, a lot of people do come in and out, so you do yeah. get to meet people quite often. It's, it's part of the life. Of course it is, okay. absolutely. Uh, you, you choose to stay here. Of course we have, okay. yeah. You have ambition, you have a dream, you're, you're persistent about it. So you know what? I will stay no matter what's going on. And so many people, like, they want to try new things or different mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. You know what? No. I love the city. I know what I'm going to do here. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially in our business as a real estate, it's not about real estate. Mm -hmm. It's a human to human. Right. It's a connection. Right. Every time you meet with a different uh, an investor or a different a client from a different part of the industry, and like, what do you do for a living? I, I like it, just asking people, what do you do for a living? Like, mm -hmm. uh, cyber uh, security or e-commerce or import and export. One of my investors, he have a drones, and when he starts explaining about it, like, you know what, this is something amazing. Yeah, I, I, so, I've actually had somebody on the show with drones that came on the show, yes. and they were all about photography and digital communication with the drones. And they have their really audience, cool. like, yeah. you know, exhibitions. Yeah, and, you know, it's that, really that. cool stuff. <laughs> Tell me quickly, I mean, how did you handle the COVID situation? Because obviously here in Dubai, we were all under lockdown. Things had yeah. changed. We weren't going to the office. We weren't interacting with our colleagues. We were working from home. And while, you know, our jobs require to be out on the field doing yes. viewings and being hands-on, how did you actually... I'd like to understand because I, 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 you know, how did you handle that situation? The, to be honest, at the start, it, it's a new experience for everyone. So the, the most important part for me, like, how can I make advantage? Mm -hmm. Okay, what, how can I make it the best period of my time? Mm -hmm. uh, I look at the uh, half full. I don't look at the empty one. That's good. So it's, it's very important, like, okay, all right, now this is the new situation. It might be the new normal. What can I do? Mm -hmm. So... It took me a period of time to understand, like, you know what? This is the best period of my life. Mm -hmm. Where, because we are outside people, because we do a lot of business, we work more than 14, 15 hours per day. True. So I found out, like, you know what? I'm spending time with my family. Oh. Like, even I'm speaking with my wife, like, you know what? You're a funny lady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time we didn't sit How together. Cute. Like. Oh. <laughs> even, I start exploring my son my mm -hmm. daughter, what mm -hmm. they like. I, I start experiencing the, the fatherhood in me, which is like, okay, I enjoy doing small stuff. Activities with I, the kids, and you got to like, spend time with them. And You know what? We miss it. We yeah. miss, like, family time. And f you know what? With the technology, with the, with the smartphone, smart things, like, we're not far away. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes, one day things will be changed. Yes, one day... Technology will be, let's say, uh, more than 100% of what we're doing in our life. Mm -hmm. The most important part was for me, like, you know what? I can own it from here. I can do it. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of how we can expand the business. The good thing, uh, to be honest, from my side, I start uh, generating more business, mm -hmm. especially in the COVID, because people, they're uncertain. They don't know what to do. Uh, I start having more time with my clients, especially with Reconnecting the with old clients as well, of you, course. You, yeah. You, you know what? I, I get the call from one of the guys. Hey, I mean, how are you? I just want to say that. Are you okay? Are you safe? And I really like it. Mm. So I start calling my clients like, mm -hmm. hey, how are you? Are you good? Everything is okay? Mm -hmm. And start people call me back like, I mean, you know what? Uh, it's, it's about how can I uh, connect with you, as you mentioned. Right, right. Uh, I really enjoy it. I start even uh, doing like... Uh, conference or Zoom calls with multi-people, people, people yeah. in the UK. I believe there's nothing called weekend right now. Right. All days are the same. Right. Uh, with the new technology, yes, there's so much things will be added. Mm -hmm. uh, viewing has been stopped, or let's say social distance things has been stopped. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Like, we need to adapt it. Yeah, absolutely. We need to look at what next we can do. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, Real estate or home, it was the best vaccine for what's going on in the market. Stay at home. We will do everything for you. And by the way, it is a service business. Absolutely. So if we're giving the service, everything is done. If we're not giving the service, things is not stable. We're trying to give the best service to our client. 
Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Of course, I mean, we're gonna cut to a short commercial break. I'm gonna have more with myself and Amin from Fidu Properties. So when we get back, we'll see you guys soon. We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot of advice to give and we'll be back in just a few. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. If you guys are just joining me, of course, this is Angela Gegg live from the Viewsville TV studios. We're locked in for another edition of Serious Business right here on Angie Live in Dubai. Today, we're talking about real estate, the real estate market, real estate investing. We're giving advice for real estate brokers. And I'm joined in the studios with uh, Amin. He is the sales director at Fidu Properties. Yes, yeah, yes, amazing. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks welcome for again. joining me. <laughs> a seasoned veteran in the world of real estate. You've got lots of experience. You've worked with yeah. tons of major developers across oh. Dubai. I mean, you're, you're a well-known person here in the UAE. So yeah. I'm very grateful to have you on the thank show. And I'm very yeah. happy to be all right, now it's time yeah. to get down to the nitty gritty and let's, let's see what we can do and with our viewers, give them some real estate advice. First, I'd do. like to ask you, what do you really think the market is like right now? It's uh, one word, unbelievable. Right. Like, right. <laughs> you don't know it's positive or... <laughs> right. See, uh, basically, every time somebody asks me about uh, what you think about the market, I ask him which side you are. Right. Are you a buyer or are you a seller? Mm -hmm. Okay, because if, if he's a buyer, there's a different conversation. Mm -hmm. He's a seller, there's a different conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's opportunity. In right. Chinese language, uh, crises have two metaphors. One is opportunity, one is danger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we look at the previous number, the numbers now, and we look at the future. Basically, okay, we're not afraid about what's going on. Because mm -hmm. big, com big countries, they start falling down because of it. Right. So we're optimistic about the future. Mm -hmm. We look at the performance about the market. We look at uh, what's going on inside the market, the customer behavior, investor right. behavior, developers behavior. There's a lot of deals to be had too though, well, right I, now. Well, I, I'm very happy from the, the investors' feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm very happy from the way people like, I mean, how can I make the benefit out of this? Mm -hmm. Okay, we witness a lot of tenant they mm -hmm. start looking to to buy their property like you know what i live inside it can i buy it or can i think about it mm -hmm. so what what people were expecting okay what happened is better than what they were expecting right and i'm very happy about it and i feel that in the next period of time yes we will witness better deals uh, we will witness the new investors coming to the market mm -hmm. and uh, guess what uh, inside the market there's a market Correct. Absolutely. So it's, it's not only about Dubai, it's about Marina alone, it's mm -hmm. about JBL alone, mm -hmm. what's going on in Blue Water, what's going on in Pan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And at the end of the day, I'll be very frank about one thing. So much people lost mo their money in the peak time mm -hmm. and so much people made their money in the downturn. Mm -hmm. So it's not about what to do is how to do it. Correct. That's exactly what I spoke about in my intro. Actually, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I did talk right. about in the intro when you were <laughs> so 100%. It's like you just said, it's not about what to do, it's when to do it. So let's talk a little bit about real estate and financial freedom. It's very important. Yeah, yeah. let's talk a little yeah. bit about that for our viewers. Why is it important to invest in real estate? How does it give you financial freedom and how you know you can spend the rest of your life basically earning from being a real it's estate investor? Uh, because I start as an investor banker, Okay. I, I saw what's going on in the market. Yeah. I saw that we convinced people that, hey, you should put your money in the bank. Mm -hmm. And this is the safest place in the world. Mm -hmm. So from there, like, you know what? We would take the money, uh, people money and mm -hmm. start investing either in a stock market, currency or real estate. And we start making money out of that. Mm -hmm. So I decide like why I don't go outside and I start making money for my client. When I start digging in the business, uh, we start reading some books about how to be a passive income, a passive investor, active investor, what's going on in the market. I found out there's something very important. Not everyone look at it, which is your legacy. Right. How can I build my legacy? Correct. What can I in inherit for the people after me? And I was surprised from a, a family in China, in Shenzhen, exactly. Mm -hmm. they, in they never sell their property for the last 300 years. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of the big investors, even here in the UAE, they never sell, they just buy. Uh, all number one yeah. passive <laughs> investment, you never sell your real estate. Mm -hmm. Every seller will regret one day I sold this property. Yeah. So I always sit with people and ask them, imagine if your parent 30 years back, they invest in the real estate and today they tell you, this is <coughs> the trophy of our time. Yeah. So 
I'm planning to do it to my children. I saw some people are doing it. Nobody can disagree in a long term between 10, 15 years that this property will not cover the price, will not make for you the most important problem today in market. Mm -hmm. There's no cash flow. Right. What is the business can generate for you cash flow? Your right. restaurant has been closed. Your showroom has been closed. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You still have to pay the rent. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. People but, still need somewhere to live. It's, they, will never li they will never live in the street. Okay. Yep. So Absolutely. The best cash flow, the most solid thing you can look at it in your financial let's say, uh, life is real estate and Absolutely the legacy agree. for you. I firmly believe in real estate investing. It, it, it's, it should be part, like we should invest in stock market. I did it many times and I lost money. It's not because the stock the market. I didn't do it right. Mm. Okay, so real estate is not risky. People are risky. I agreed with that. I agree. Real estate's a bit foolproof. You get a good asset, get a nice return, you get it rented, you have a you know, good ROI and you're, you're okay. Stock market is, woo, fluctuates way it's, too much. It need people, it need to understand, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. many times, every time, like I, I tie it in the cryptocurrency, I tie it in the oil, I tie it in the natural gas. And when I look at what mistake I did, okay, which is, I'm, I'm not that expert in that market, mm -hmm. okay, I need somebody to help me in that. Many times I sit with people and tell them, hey, don't look for property, look for people who mm -hmm. can help you in doing it. Even for the stock market, like, you know what, I did the mistake because I was doing it myself. Mm. When I start sitting with the expert, I mean, did you do that? Have you did that? Right. So you know what, it was my mistake. The idea of investment is not something option, mm -hmm. that I should do it or I should not do it. Investment is a part of your pension plan. Right. Okay, what next? 95% mm -hmm. of the people who live in this world are employers. 4% mm. are business owners and the 1% which is the wealthy people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to be from the 95. <laughs> of I want to be from the 4%. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, Absolutely. We're all this. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I actually have some uh, pictures I'd like to show of some of your achievements because I know you've had won quite a few awards. Yeah. As, as I mentioned before, you're, this is you at the Lands Apartment. Tell me a little bit about yes. this photo. Uh, this photo, we got it for the Excellency Award of uh, Real Estate Practices here in Dubai. Okay, Excellency okay. for Real Estate Practices, yeah, very uh, nice. W w we did an amazing job with the guys here, with uh, our mutual friend, Mr. Mohab. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, Mohab. Hey, Mohab. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a good uh, friend of mine. <laughs> This is with Feed of Property for number four, uh, Top Boca Ima. Yeah, I was in, there for that. The real at the Dubai Opera. And this is for the International Property Award for the Best Property Consultant and the Best uh, Property Consultant website in Dubai 2018. Mm -hmm. This is with Hampton International number eight, Top uh, 20 Ima Real Estate Brokers. It's, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Yeah. When you see these, you really remember like, exactly. wow, I've had so many amazing achievements, uh, you know? It, it's the fruit of a full year. Yeah, work. yeah. Okay, and th I have a very funny story for that, uh -huh. which is uh, in the New Year Eve, uh -huh. we used to work in Dubai Mall. Okay. And I have one of my broker, he called me like 8 uh, Just to reiterate, yeah. remember we do have quite an international audience, so when he means he worked in the Dubai Mall, he means that Imar has a stand. I have a stand in Dubai there, Mall. There, Imar is one of Dubai's well, big developers, for those of you guys watching. They have a stand in the Dubai Mall, and a lot of the brokers actually work at that stand. Yes. That's what he was doing in the mall. Just yes. I remember people outside of Dubai, I just wanted to explain that. Go yeah, ahead. So <laughs> One of my broker, he was in the stand and it was like 8 o'clock and he called me like 7, 8 times. Uh -huh. Then I answer like, hey, it's New Year Eve, what do you want? I mean, I have a client and he want to buy a full floor. Full floor in the mall, New Year Eve. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Give me the money. Show me the money, I will start moving. Uh -huh. The guy was very optimistic in a way that I will start my year with a full floor. Right. We were number 10. And yeah. because of this floor, we become number eight. I see. So uh, what floor What floor did they buy? It's uh, Vida downtown. Oh, okay, Vida. Okay, it was like... Residential 30, floor. Uh, 31, it's fully furnished. 31 wow, mashallah. Million. Even like, when I called my boss, boss, I just bought one floor for 31 million. Like, are you serious? Yeah, like, this is the real part of the New Year. <laughs> yeah, that's a good part of the New Year's. I don't think your wife was probably happy that you left, but when she saw the... The deal that you did, she was probably overjoyed. <laughs> it, it was, I was surprised. Yeah. Okay, but a lot of people, they stop us in the mall, like, 
do you sell real estate in the in the mall? Yes, we do sell real estate in the mall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted to explain to the viewers as well because we have a certain mall stands here in the mall, so we yeah. actually do sell real estate here in the mall. And uh, this is Dubai. It's Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> we have seven star hotels. We sell real estate in malls. We have the tallest building in the world. It's Bigger, better. We have ski resorts in our malls. Uh, uh, ski slopes. And guess what? It's Dubai, guys, guess you know? <laughs> Dubai is the biggest, the best. You need to come here. <laughs> Just tell us if you have any idea, we'll do it here. Don't you know, worry. and invest in Dubai. This is the best place to invest in the world. No taxes on residential properties, you it's know? Every, every time, especially when I start speaking with the people from the U.S., like we start witness some uh, response from New York and from the West Bank. And whenever I start, like, free tax, free income, are you sure? Yeah. Of course we're sure. Like, uh, we do this for a living. <laughs> <laughs> one, of, one of my clients, he told me, like, you know what, man, tax is like my second wife. Yeah. They take half of my... <laughs> Exactly, exactly, exactly. Tell me, what expectations do you have for the upcoming market? What changes do you expect there to be post-COVID? Uh, very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Uh, again, very interesting. interesting. <laughs> okay. You in one word. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Basically, uh, we have a lot of expectation. Mm -hmm. Okay. What we're trying to do is we're looking at the current market situation. We're looking at the type of demand. Like one of the interesting things we saw is that people start moving for townhouses and villas because like, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm stuck in my apartment. Uh, I, I want more freedom. Townhouse or community, you have more facility or you have more the freedom to move inside it with a social distance. Uh, we start expecting that, you know what? There are smaller size unit. People stop renting or stop asking for it. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. you know what? I mean, I will pay more to get more time because we start spending more than 30, 40, 50% of our time in the house. Right. Like I, I live in a three bedroom house. I convert one, the third room for office. Right, right. So if I was living in a two bedroom apartment, I need somewhere to start doing business. Right. So there will be demand in bigger sizes mm -hmm. of the property. Mm -hmm. There will be demand more for the, let's say, community uh, lifestyle. Right, absolutely. Uh, I agree property. with you on that. And guess what? Here in Dubai, you can find several places. Like you want the modern style, you want the golf court style, you want the Arabian style. Okay, mm -hmm. there's different places. Everything is available. Beachfront living, golf course living, okay. you name it, we have it. City life. I mean, we have it all. We have the options for every investor and every end user, quite frankly, as well. See, the, the whole idea that <laughs> people they need, to, they need to look at Dubai as a long term. Correct. Okay. No, nobody see the long term. If people, I do remember one of my friend's story. He used to get people, especially for the spring in 2003, 2004. Mm -hmm. And people they ask him, "This is part of Abu Dhabi, man. This mm. is not Dubai. It was very far that time." The springs the was spring, considered far. Far, like. Uh, Allah. <laughs> uh, marina, uh, uh, marina. Uh, when they start the construction of the marina, you cannot enter the marina side unless you have an SUV. Mm. Oh, right now, the marina, like you, you find the nice cars, the GBR side. Mm -hmm. That time, the townhouse was for uh, 460,000 Doha. Wow. Three bedroom townhouse, which if for I a can. Three get bedroom townhouse. Launch from Imam. Wow, that's okay. so cheap. Okay. If <laughs> I can get it today at 1.8, I will buy it. I will not give it to my client, I will buy it for myself. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Wow, it's incredible. So. There's so much things to look at it. What we see today from Dubai, actual Dubai, is only 12% of Dubai land. Mm -hmm. There's so much things to do. Mm -hmm. And because of the new infrastructure, like, you know what, whatever technology, whatever new idea will come, we can do it. Mm -hmm. Big cities, they cannot, they don't have the space. Mm. They don't have, like, to add it. Mm -hmm. We have Global Village, we have uh, Dubai Park and Resort. EWC, <laughs> we have... Like, Dubai, everything, you know. You mention it. Everything. <laughs> Abu Dhabi is also quite nice to invest in as well. They're beautiful apartments, it is. beautiful homes. I mean, so, I mean, we just have all the options available here, which is great. So, what? Let's see. We're gonna see what's to come. I mean, those of us that really believe firmly in the UAE, like myself, like yourself, that believe in real estate. I mean, we're here. We're very passionate about this world, about this life. So. And of course, you've been here a long time, so you've seen yeah. all the changes, as has, have I. I've been here, you know, quite a while as well, and it's just incredible to see what we keep doing. Fast changes. 
the fa the changes, the building, the expansions, the the developments, the projects, the, the it's just so incredible, you know. See, uh, to to be honest with you, this is uh, there's a book for Mr. Warren Buffett, the snowball, and mm -hmm. when he mentioned about the investment, don't look at the investment itself. Look at the performance of the investment. Mm -hmm. When you want to invest, we don't look at only at the real estate market. We mm -hmm. look at the performance of the government. Mm -hmm. in terms of adapting what we can do to help the people. Mm -hmm. So the, the communication between the private sector and the government sector is excellent. Many times we receive calls from the land department like how we can make your life easy so that you can perform. Right. They do a lot of surveys with investors. What make you invest here? What we can put a new product in the market? Mm -hmm. So it's not about investor alone. No, no. You are secure. There's so much, uh, let's say, rules and regulation from the government to make sure this Absolutely. is one of the best places you can invest and start. Yeah. Any advice for new brokers coming into the market right now with this current situation, with the COVID happening? Do you have any particular advice yourself to give any brokers yes. watching or yes. potential brokers? Uh, service. Mm. It's very important to give the service. Mm -hmm. uh, our business is built on the pre-sale, sale and after sale. It's right. not only just the sale. Absolutely. Okay. What I try to mention to my guys, like you need to be a one-stop shop to your client. I can help you in all your inquiries. Okay, here, here in Dubai, our uh, new board called they came up with the, what we call it like off-plan specialist. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one of my client, his name is Sandy Bichohan. I really respect the guy, and he told me, I mean, real estate. I need to see it. It's not real. So when I found out, like you know what. There are people they invest in the off plan. There are people invest in the already property. You need to have your area. You need to be right, specialized. specialized. Mm -hmm. you, you need to have something extra than other people. Agreed. Okay, and uh, it's very important to look at what know-how, what new uh, information you can give me about if I want to invest here. Correct. They need to learn their projects, learn their That's developments. Always do your continued, you know. Okay. Do the master classes that are offered by the, you know, the portals. Take all the, like you went and took additional training and certifications outside of just Dubai, you know. To, to know just learn, always learn yourself and become more educated and just, you know, better yourself, I think is a great feat, great input. Yeah. See, one, one of the things I, I love it about Dubai is the competition. Mm -hmm. Okay. People here are very, very. What do you educated. consider your competition? Let's talk about the competition. Okay. Now we're going to get spicy. Who do you consider okay. your competition see, here? Personally or corporate side? Corporate. Uh, co see, corporate, we have what we call it like top 10 or top 20 real estate company in Dubai. There okay. Are, so I will not mention the names. Let's not mention the names. <laughs> it's all about uh, Fidu properties okay. and a means today. It's all the about show. the Fidu property today. It's all about the Fidu properties. <laughs> <laughs> we're, do, we're doing a good job in the market. What, like, I'll, I'll give you the experience of Fidu. Okay. Sure. I, can, I can share it, which is. When, when, when we launch FIDO, we look at what extra thing, what new thing we can bring to the market. Right, right. And we witness some uh, new, let's say, attraction from the Chinese people. Like, you know what? We'll bring these people to the market. Uh-huh. Okay. So we've been known as one of the largest Chinese real estate company in GCC. Right. Okay. I know some, uh, one of my, let's say, competitors, they're doing X areas. Okay. I respect that. To mm -hmm. be honest with you, and mm -hmm. many times I met with the guys like, you know what, I, I, I really admire what you're doing in that area. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. will be a little bit hard for me to come to your area. Mm. But you know what, I will try. Right, okay. I, I, I will try. I like that, I like that. <laughs> See, there's always space. Always there, space. There, there's always space to be creative. There's always space to do something. Guess what? What we used to do yesterday, it might not work today. True, very okay. true. Uh, tomorrow there will become new things. Yep, like, uh, yep. We, we witness Uba, we witness Kamirim, we witness Noon. Right now, like, I'm, I'm thinking about what we can do extra to make the service. Right, right. Better. Got you. And uh, I have a lot to cut. I'm not say jealous, okay, but I do prefer how can I be better than the other people. That's great. Okay. You have a competitive nature. I love it. See, you want to be successful, look at what successful people are doing. Amazing. <laughs> More with yourself as success stories, guys. It's time for me to cut to a short commercial break. I'll have more with Amin when we get back. <laughs> and we are back. I am Angela Gega. Thanks for joining me, guys. We're here today for Serious Business on Angie, live in Dubai. We're live from the Buzel TV studios right here in Media City, Dubai. I've been joined with the sales director of Fidu Properties. It is the largest Chinese company right here in the GCC. Thank you, Amin, for Thank joining me here. Thank you again. We've been talking about real estate investing, 
financial freedom, involved in real estate, advice yeah. for brokers. We've had such a great conversation, investment right. opportunities, why you should be investing in Dubai, about Dubai. It's been a great, informative, hopefully for our viewers, informative yeah. um, program today. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we have to add value for the people. Basically, one, one of the best thing I learned in my life is uh, money is not a target, mm. okay? What, to be one of the best, is mm. your target and the result eventually money mm -hmm. so if we put a target to give our best to our client our business by the way is like a doctor mm -hmm. we're doing the same job of the doctor because if somebody loses money <gasps> mm -hmm. <laughs> true that well i mean you know we have to have a little fun on on my show there's yeah, a trivia I'm section here for this you know fun. he's here, here for the fun, fun guys fun. at home <laughs> You know, it can't be all serious I'm business. Just, oh, I like this part. we got to have a little fun. It's the trivia. Uh, Are you ready for some trivia? Yeah. We're finished with the serious stuff. Hello. Let's get ready for some trivia, guys at home. That, ready? I'm ready. I love it. Amin, tell me, if you were running for political office, what would your campaign slogan be? Fast, La fast, fast. Fast, <laughs> fast, 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 fast. fast. <laughs> fast. Uh, the, the, the campaign slogan okay. if you were running for office yeah uh, hire the best hire the best i hire love it best. hire the best yeah i mean i yeah. love it i mean i love it <laughs> <laughs> what's the first thing that you notice about someone when you meet them uh to be honest i, I look at the shoes the shoes <laughs> I find a lot of people, I find a lot of people look at, I look at the teeth, okay, but you look at the shoes. Let me stick my shoes, okay. Like, Thank goodness I'm wearing cute shoes, guys at home. <laughs> I actually know I noticed your shoes when I came in. I'm Remember? addicted to shoes. Yeah, shoes. I did notice the shoes. <laughs> I did compliment you on your shoes. Thanks, so. Mm -hmm. Give me one product that you would refuse to promote. If you ever had to promote a product, what's a product you would say no to promoting? Uh, it's, it's not a real estate. Not any product in the world. Uh, any product in the world? Like yeah, we, we will do that. Not real estate. Uh, Anything. I will do only promoting real estate. Bas basically, uh, retail things, I, I will not promote retail things. Okay. okay uh, like clothes, okay. watches, things which doesn't have uh, investment, does it, doesn't have appreciation in the future. I hate it. Mm. Okay. Anything That's can give appreciation, I would love to promote it. Okay, what's your favorite Halloween costume? My favorite Halloween costume, like uh, to be honest yeah. with you, the Venom, I like the it. Venom. <laughs> Venom, like uh, the anime song, and like <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really admired. Like, can I go take it home? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. If you were a teacher, what grade would you choose to teach? Girls, kindergarten. Kindergarten. Girls. Okay. Only girls. Why? Uh, I have a two years girls, Aww. okay, and I never felt the love, to be honest. Uh -huh. I never felt the, the emotion inside. Like, to be honest, we are men were tired to be that strong. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Whenever she uh -huh. come to me, like, you know what, I will leave everything Aww, for you. Oh, so cute. <laughs> and by the way, you will never learn how to live life from somebody nagging from everyone, mm -hmm. everything, okay? Mm -hmm. Children, they can enjoy their life without anything. Like, I look at her, she look at the wall, and she starts smiling. Oh. We do have everything I to do smile. that, too. <laughs> Sorry. I do that, too. <laughs> it, it's like, it's very nice, okay? Mm. Being pure from inside. Uh, sm there's no details, mm -hmm. okay? And by the way, kids are the best salespeople in the world. That's true. They want it, they want it. They From the coming. mouths of babe shall come the truth. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Purely yeah. innocent. Okay, so what compliment do people give you the most? What compliment? compliment. If people are complimenting you, what's the compliment that people give you the most? The knowledge, maybe sometime in, in, in real estate things. I spend on a daily basis between one to two hours just looking at what's going on in okay, the market. Okay. I like numbers. Mm -hmm. I like so I go in deep details with. So they think you're smart. They're like, oh, you're okay. so smart. I'm not talent. I'm a skills <laughs> person. Uh, many time I sit with people. There's some talent people. I'm not talent person. I'm okay. a skills person. You're a sales person. Okay, I'm cool. skills. Very good. I, I focus in my skills in a way to. Skill sets. To, yeah. Okay. All right. Tell me, who's your superhero and why? 
Who's my superhero? Any superhero in the world. Think of any superhero. Who's your superhero and why? Okay. Like, see, Superman, Batman. Yeah, were, anything. They, they, yeah. They, they yeah. Were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the life, uh, Batman with the new movie, like, it changed a lot of things about it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Superman is something like every small girl, small boy, like, dream about it. And guess what? We can be Superman. Yeah. We can. I agree. I totally agree with that. It's a good sentiment. Tell me, what's the strangest thing that you've ever eaten? The strangest thing? Uh, <laughs> Asian food, there are, there are some dishes. Did you eat bugs? Okay. No, I haven't tried, oh, but like okay. uh, octopus, shark, uh, this part of the seafood. Ah, okay, okay. octopus. Uh, it, it was a new experience for me. Okay, okay. And uh, you know what? I have to try. Right, right, right. It was right. okay. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not that sushi guy. <laughs> Oh, you don't like, okay, you're not into the raw food or anything. No, no. <laughs> okay, all right, no problem. But the seafood, yeah, one of the dish, I, I never, I don't remember what is it. Mm -hmm. Indian food, they have th things like you have to try. Yeah. Okay, only yeah. once. Ah, only once. <laughs> <laughs> only once yeah. It's very spicy. Okay, cool. Tell me, I mean, if you had unlimited funds, what would you get yourself? If you had unlimited funds, Unlimited. One thing, if you could buy one thing, just say if you were given a bank account with a gazillion dollars and yeah. you could purchase only one thing, what would it be? Okay. See, I'll, I'll buy an island. An island? Yeah, like, yeah. I have an island for sale. Okay. <laughs> I'll make it offer all that. I'll buy an island. Okay. I, I, I want to enjoy, you know, the, the, the CEO of Virgin, he has his own island. Yes, like, yes. How, how, how do you feel when you sit alone there like? But guess what? It's the I'm best. I'm sure he's never alone. <laughs> I'm sure he's <laughs> never alone. <laughs> to have this privacy, okay. Uh, when the when the, when was the last time you disconnect? I'm an island girl. Okay. You mentioned you're Caribbean. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. So I'm an island girl, you know. <laughs> like, I, I should ask you what you're going to do right now. Like. I'm an island girl, so I'm all about. I love that you said island. You know, it's good stuff. It's but of course, you don't want to be stuck on an island alone. No, no, that would no, be no, boring. No. <laughs> like the Tom Hanks movie. The, what was it called? Um, There's he, Captain something. No, 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 no. The one where he got um, lost at sea. And That's the, a Toy Story. Uh, yeah, and he was like stuck on the island by himself. Woo! That's hard work. No, no, no. no. The, the, this is very bad. <laughs> I will not do it. But to, to but have the it. But yeah, if you had unlimited funds, you could buy your own island, build a mansion, and you're t taken care of. <laughs> Tell me one thing that you wish people knew about you. People knew about Yeah, me. if you wish, if okay. people see you and you wish they knew something, what would okay. it be? I'm a very transparent person. Okay. Some people, they don't like it. I'm uh, straightforward. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I try not to be that salesperson, but I have to. Uh-huh. That's <laughs> some of the part. I love it. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I, I always think in a loud voice. Okay. And uh, some people, they don't understand that I say it for your own sake. For your own good, yeah. Okay, Maybe like, they take offense or something. It's like, see, I, I have the option to lie and I have the option to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the option of being honest. Mm -hmm. Cool. Favorite automobile? Favorite automo automobile. What's okay. your favorite car? I love Cadillac. Cadillac, okay. Favorite uh, food? I prefer food, mensaf, Jordanian food. Oof, mensaf. You have to try it. No, I will try it. I haven't <laughs> tried it. Favorite dessert? Favorite dessert? I like Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts! I love it! I love uh, it! I love it! Favorite, favorite vegetable? Favorite broccoli. Broccoli. Okay, yeah. favorite fruit? Yeah, favorite fruit, mango. Mango? Oh, it's a very I, good one. I eat it in my hand. Yes, so good. No knife, no f in my hand. I mango. have to catch it in my hand. An Egyptian mango. You would do good on an island because, you know, yeah, fresh mango tropical pineapple. fruits, mango, pineapple, banana, you know? I, I, I enjoy it like... <laughs> yeah, good mango. Favorite uh, destination? Favorite destination, uh, Disneyland. Oh! Disneyland, it's, it's my wish list. Disneyland, that's his wish list, I love it. We're gonna end off at that note. Tell me, do you have any special hellos for anyone out there, any special shout outs? Go ahead and take yeah. it away. Uh, thank you so much everyone for watching us here with NG. It was a very nice experience for me <laughs> to, to do it. Uh, Let's, let's keep in touch. Let's see how we can add value for people. Try to be a somebody who's positive. Try to give uh, this, uh, motivation for people. At the end of the day, we're going to live once. So let's have a good impact on other people. 
and just enjoy our life. I love it. I love just it. That's a great. Life. I love it. Enjoy life. You live once. Guys at home, that is all the time that I have for today. We've got Denver, Vegas, New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Michigan, Russia, the Ukraine, France, Milano, the entire Central South America, and the Caribbean. And to every person that is tuned in worldwide, you guys all rock. Yeah. Especially those of you right here in the United Arab Emirates. We love you, Dubai. Guys at home, stay at home. Send me your requests. Send me your shout outs. Feel free to connect with me on social media. And you can hit me up on my email account at agag at viewsalive.com so that I can credit you guys, share your stories, share your happy birthday, share your anniversaries. You know what to do. I am Angela Gag. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, Don't same so. place. <laughs>